Well, moving into our next story of the day, this one is making its rounds. I mean, this this clip went viral uh, yesterday. So a huge mob ransacks California gas station. Police outnumbered. We have a clip of this, and this is from KTLA, uh, which is a local news station in the state of California. If you haven't already hit that like and subscribe button, folks, support a true American patriot here. Support conservative Republican values by hitting that like and subscribe button. Leave us a comment down below. We've seen time and time again the Democrats running roughshod over cities, but yet they're going to sit there and prosecute Donald Trump for $130,000 of cat, uh, hush money. But all the people that burn down businesses, like a billion dollars, more than a billion dollars of property damage when George Floyd was killed by a police officer, you know, nobody's prosecuted there. Nothing's really happening, but they're going to go after, again, Donald Trump of $130,000 of hush money. The murders that are being com- uh, conducted by these illegal immigrants, not- nothing to be done there. Nope. That's fine. Uh, homeless veterans sleeping on the streets. Ah, nothing to be done there. We're not going to take care of them. It's amazing how Democrats don't do their job, but Democrats are still going to vote in Democrats that don't do their job. And then the Democrats that voted in the people that aren't doing their job are going to complain about the Democrats that got voted in that aren't doing their job. It's amazing how that works out. But, you know, logic and reasoning with Democrat Party. Uh, well, that went out a long time ago. Let's go and roll it. Chaos in Compton after a street takeover turns into looting at a nearby gas station. Yeah, Check a crowd of about 100 people smashed their way into an Arco. This is near Alondra Boulevard and South Central Avenue. KTLA's Carlos Salcedo live in downtown L.A. And he has the very latest on what happened. Carlos. Good afternoon. That's right. Complete lawlessness in Compton following a street takeover. Dozens of people break into a gas station, then start looting the place. And cameras were, in fact, rolling. A mob swarms the Arco gas station on Alondra and Central in Compton after someone smashes through the glass door. Then it's just a free for all. This happened around 2.30 in the morning. You see some looters with their faces covered. Others not even bothering concealing their identity as they ransack the store. They grab everything from booze to condoms, what some would call the essentials. The Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department says thousands of dollars worth of merchandise was taken. Then, of course, there's the damage left behind. Deputies say the mob was part of a crowd of people who gathered for a street takeover. Where's the cops? Now this site has become far too common in Los Angeles. This was one of at least three street takeovers overnight. Two others happened on Long Beach and Rosecrans. Vehicles turn and screech through intersections, spinning dangerously close to cheering crowds. Investigators say shots were fired about a block away from where the looting took place, but nobody was injured. Of course, investigators are now trying to identify the suspect seen in those videos posted on social media. They are asking for the public's help. Anyone with any information is encouraged to contact the Compton substation. Yeah, okay, sure. And you know what's funny is that literally, and I've talked about this at length, we have this thing called Prop 47, where if you... Uh, basically steal anything, $950 or less, n- nothing really happens to you. You're right, it's a, it's a slap on the wrist. So as you saw here in the video recording, a mob of California youth breaking into a gas station convenience store and then stealing what police say were thousands of dollars of product. This is just a lack of values, you guys. Okay, you can look at race all you want, but at the end of the day, whether you're black, white, Asian, Hispanic, it don't matter what your race is. Your race has nothing to do with what's taking place here. This is a lack of values. This is a lack of being brought up in the household. This is a lack of religion being in schools or just the household in general. And that you're seeing a problem within our society because there's no repercussion here. You have not enough police because the Democrat Party wanted to defund the police. And we just did an episode on that the other day where now they're asking for police to come back. Who would want to come back when you're not going to support them in a time of need? that you're not going to support them because they shot a guy that was shooting at their face and you're going to somehow say, well, he shot him from behind. I mean, it's ridiculous. And as to why anybody would want to be a police officer, I have no idea anymore, especially in a Democrat ran area. In a red area, I understand, like a place like the state of Florida, totally understand. And that's why they have cops that are actually applying in mass numbers there compared to Democrat ran cities where everybody's fleeing, especially the police themselves. And also the police that are policing, like say Los Angeles, don't actually live in Los Angeles. They live in different areas because of how bad the crime is in Los Angeles. And you also have business owners leaving the state, leaving the city as well. But again, it goes back to a lack of values. 
my question, I, and we'll never be able to find this out, but let's just take a random guess. Do you think those people looting the store are people of faith? Do you think those are people that have good values? Do you think those are Democrats or Republicans? If I had to guess, not people of faith, or if they are people of faith, they don't take their faith very seriously. They don't go to church. They don't have a value system. Some of them probably have a single mother at home or a single father at home, not a two-parent household. Uh, they don't care. Uh, probably doing poorly in school, if I had to guess. Like, There's a lot of things that we could throw in here, and probably Democrat, because if these are conservatives or Republicans, they don't belong being part of a conservative Republican party whatsoever. We don't want them. I don't want scumbags like this a part of the any party, let alone America. I would rather take an illegal immigrant that wants to sit there and assimilate into this country, into this nation, and actually wants to do good for our country, and then send these guys to a different country. I'll, I'm more than happy to do a swap. More than happy to do a swap. Because these people are scumbags, and I hope all of them go to jail. I really do. Quote, it's unbelievable. Unreal. I've never seen anything like that happen here. Greg Johnson, a Compton resident and customer of the Arco station that was looted. I mean, it is Compton, okay? You've seen a lot. I mean, there's a lot of murders in Compton as well. So you've seen a lot of bad things happen there. And listening to other outlets cover this, there is a, a thought that these people that were ransacking this store weren't from Compton itself, that they were from out of the area and they came in and did this because this has happened all over California. This isn't the only thing or incident where this has taken place. This is happening all over the area. This is why California is seeing a mass exodus of everybody. I mean, even businesses. We just saw that Starbucks was closing down businesses in Democrat-ran areas, Walgreens. I mean, you name the store, they're starting to close shop because they're tired of it. As you saw in the video, the incident shows unidentified people first crowding around the entrance of the convenience store at the Arco gas station and kicking down its glass door to gain entry. I mean, they were going to get in, folks. Check this out. Deputies at the Compton station were responding to incidences throughout the night, but police said that since they are currently limited with their staff personnel, God, I wonder why, and they couldn't intervene with the giant takeover groups for safety concerns and being outnumbered according to ABC. God, uh, why are they limited in staff, you guys? That's so weird because I, I thought the Democrats uh, wanted this. Guy. Oh, oh, that's why, because I just mentioned the Democrats wanted this. The Democrats wanted a limited policing. They actually wanted to abolish the police department. And now you're getting what you wanted. And now you got rampant crime happening in all Democrat ran areas. And they don't care. And it's amazing to me because I was listening to a, uh, somebody that's trying to run for governor in the state of California later on. And he was saying, well, I think the Democrats will, will, will come to our side. I think they'll wake up. No, they won't. L literally in the midst, we tried to rec recall Gavin Newsom and they still voted in the guy, the guy that's letting all this stuff happen. Are you kidding me? You think the governments are going to wake up all of a sudden and go, oh my God, yeah, crime is rampant. It's been rampant for years. Because you got Gascon doesn't want to prosecute anybody. You have Sergeant Clarence Williams of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department told the Los Angeles Times that the street takeover near the Arco gas station was one of three in the area that night. One of three. But that hey, he had never seen a flash mob break into a store to that level. Yes, we have. We, we've How is it I've seen this as a guy that does it in his closet? We've seen video after video in the state of California where people are ransacking stores left and right. What are you talking about? You don't have to look further than like four years ago when the Democrat Party was ransacking and burning down buildings. Like you're going to say that we've never seen a flash mob break into a store to that level. Really? I, I've seen tons of videos. We've actually covered them on this channel. Don't give me this crap. By the time police arrived, the crowd had been scattered. Around 100 people were involved and the area was left covered in trash and tire marks. Yeah, yeah. That's the entire county itself. Quote, it makes me angry. This comes from uh, a KTLA who witnessed uh, the events themselves, told the station, it makes me angry when they do that to our streets and put everybody in danger. Yeah, well, you know, if you actually uh, wanted to have police there that want to police rough areas like the area of Compton, then you probably wouldn't have this type of crime because people know they're going to go to jail. But because they're diminishing the repercussions of you committing a crime in the state of California and Los Angeles County, uh, this is what you get. This is why businesses are fleeing. This is why a lot of people are leaving your state. You're going to have an increase in taxes. You're going to have an increase in rent. You want to have an increase in wages because the Democrat Party wants to pay everybody $25 an hour to flip a burger that's already cooked. Basically, you're heating the damn thing up or scooping food onto a plate. So that's going to cause everything else to go up. So while everything is going up and everything's going to be inflated in the area and you got people leaving, well, that's how you carve out Los Angeles or a city like we've seen uh, Detroit over there. So this is a lack of values. This is a lack of leadership in the Democrat Party. This is a last lack of prosecuting people to the full extent of the law. And this is the type of crime you're going to have. So California is just one of many Democrat-ran areas that are falling apart, going into the dumpster. And you know what? 
the Democrats love it. And if you're a Democrat that watches this, explain to me how you don't love it, but yet you're still going to vote for Democrats. You have homeless. You'll still vote for Democrats. You have the Democrats and the progressive left grooming your children, wanting to trans them. You're still voting Democrat. You have them wanting to secretly castrate or move your children into being groomed by the school district without your knowledge and transing your kid with a school psychiatrist or psychologist and uh, helping them get into a Planned Parenthood without your uh, knowledge as a parent, but you'll still vote Democrat. You also have, we mentioned homeless, you have the crime going through the roof, but you still vote Democrat. You have illegal immigrants running roughshod over our entire country, about 22 to 25 million people happening, killing uh, innocent Americans and raping, doing sex trafficking, bringing in fentanyl, but you'll still vote Democrat. So you don't have to just pick one issue. I mean, you combine all the issues that the Democrat party is for, literally giving syringes and drug use to actual homeless people on the street, they're still for Democrats. They're for them taking a dump on the street, still for Democrats. They're for leaving syringes and razor blades in the playgrounds that people really have to metal detect on a monthly basis to remove them so children don't get harmed. Democrats are still for that. So, I mean, you, you, you give a whole list of all these things Democrats are for it and they'll continue to vote for it. But yet you have people on the Republican side of the aisle go, well, they'll just wake up. They'll just change. No, they won't. That would have happened already. No, they won't. They'll continue to pull the shenanigan. They'll continue to pull these stunts. And that's how, again, you're going to have, honestly, our society denigrate and fall apart, which is what's happening in real time. Let me know, folks. Let me know what you think about Democrats running the show. Do you think they're doing a good job? Do you think they're doing things right? Let us know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Bald Brad show. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all our future content.